What if I told you that this rock exposure behind us in this picture is entirely made of dead bodies? No, not dinosaur bones, ancient mammals, or anything big like that, but billions of microscopic algae that lived over 100 million years ago. And I'm talking about chalk. Yep, we use rocks full of dead bodies to draw on sidewalks. But the craziest thing about chalk is that for most of Earth's history, it didn't exist. Over 200 million years ago, there was no chalk anywhere because it hadn't evolved yet. And I know what you're thinking, Rachel, chalk is a rock. It's not life. It doesn't evolve. It just forms. And rock forming processes haven't changed on Earth since Earth formed. So of course chalk didn't evolve later on. It's always been around. But actually, the process that forms chalk involves a very specific kind of organism that had to evolve before chalk could form. These organisms are called coccolithophores, which are single-celled microscopic algae that evolved around 160 to 130 million years ago. Before this, there were several other kinds of microscopic algae in Earth's oceans, but none left behind massive chalk deposits like coccolithophores. So what makes these little guys so special? Why do they produce chalk? Well, these algae build tiny armored plates, essentially little spherical shells of protection. But the important thing about these plates is that they're made up of calcium carbonate. And when enough of their calcium carbonate plates fall to the sea floor upon death, they become preserved as layers of chalk in the rock record. But calcium carbonate is also the composition of limestone, and limestone has been around for much longer. So what makes chalk distinct from limestone? Well, it's these organisms that make up chalk. Because they're so small, the resulting calcium carbonate rock that forms as a result of these algal buildups on the sea floor is such a different texture much more brittle, softer, finer grained, and well, chalky, that we designate it as a completely different rock type. So yes, life invented chalk a little over 100 million years ago. But where exactly are we in this picture? Where does one go to explore natural chalk deposits? I'm glad you asked. Kate, the groovy geologist, and I were just visiting San Antonio, Texas, exploring some of the field trip locations for the upcoming Geological Society of America 2025 conference, GSA Connects 2025, that will be taking place in San Antonio this October. These rocks and that outcrop that we were at are part of the Austin Chalk Formation, which can be found all around South Central Texas. And you can come visit some of these chalk deposits on one of the field trips that GSA will be offering in October. But wait, why was all this chalk deposited in the middle of Texas? This is supposedly made up of marine organisms, and last time I checked, there was no ocean over Texas. Well, this chalk formed around 100 million years ago during the Cretaceous period, when a shallow sea covered much of the state, where these newly evolved algae, coccolithophores, didn't just live, but they absolutely proliferated, leading to such a buildup on the seafloor that it eventually formed thick chalk deposits. This sea actually covered not just Texas, but a large portion of the western U.S. during a period of high sea level. And this is why we call this sea the Cretaceous Interior Seaway, or sometimes the Western Interior Seaway. And fun fact, so much chalk deposited during the Cretaceous period that it gave it its name. Creta means chalk. So if you want to walk across fossilized oceans, find rocks made of 100 million year old dead bodies, all while getting a tour from a geology expert, come visit San Antonio in October for the GSA Connects 2025 meeting. There are tons of field trips that would be offered on the weekends that bookend the conference, and you don't have to be attending the conference days to go on the field trips. And one of these field trips will explore these chalk deposits, as well as some of the ancient shale deposited here during a major ocean anoxic event of the Cretaceous period, when oceans became so depleted in oxygen that widespread black shales formed. So be sure to check out the links below for more information on how to sign up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video about this rock that life invented, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!